Hello, hello, it's Maji and welcome to Red Embers Reacts. So I'm so excited for the Luna comeback tomorrow and I can't wait to see what Luna has in store for us next. Um, Luna really is uh, my old group. I can't even say old group since I'm not even a multi yet. Luna has been the the first ever k-pop group to uh really grab my attention in such a way that uh well i i end up standing the group usually my taste in music uh just goes towards specific songs and really not enough to care about um the groups or the artists themselves i just like specific songs from different artists different groups but uh luna is the first ever group in k-pop that i really got into like as a whole so uh yeah so today we're going to be checking out their teaser number one for flip that and we will see what more we can expect from this comeback uh this this latest comeback of theirs and i'm really really excited to see uh what their new world is going to be like okay so let's pull up the flip that teaser number one Here we go. Let's watch it once all the way through and then we'll go through it bit by bit. Okay, the logo. Okay, ooh. The lollipop. okay 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 there's a lot more in there than the luna the journey trailer uh, by the way i also did an initial analysis of the luna the journey trailer i'm not sure if i'll be able to put a card up there i'm still learning youtube guys so there might be a card up there if i figure it out uh go check that out as well but now let's go through this uh teaser so first off the the logo is the same as in luna the journey we, st we still have those uh flipped colors right these flip colors okay and then immediately the standout to me is olivia because she's looking out the window by herself and everyone else is paying attention to each other right but not olivia olivia staring out the window by herself also i see she's wearing a couple of rings those are huge so we have weird bearings okay yeah really the only pairing here that makes any sense to me right now is hejin and olivia because you know they've been paired before you know like like an egoist um because they're the first and last member um 
where else did they have get paired star yeah they had that thing in star but the other the other pairs are kind of new to me if you guys didn't know i'm actually planning on starting up a luna verse theory channel um i already reserved the name it's called luna 101 but there's nothing there yet um i'm still trying to uh, figure out how i'm going to uh like what type of delivery i'll do for for that theory channel and make it my own you know like different from what luminosity and daypak chang has anyways uh i'm in the preparation stage right now and like there are certain pairings or groupings in my head already that make sense according to the luna lore and for me right now none of these pairings fit into those categories that have come up in my preparations so first we have here on the side uh go on and yojin which uh yeah it's new to me because usually go on is either paired with with hustle or with hyunjin you know hyunjin as in like seesaw video uh hustle as in like the the burn trailers uh the, no the the the, the butterfly trailers um x to x i believe x1 x x2 x no not not x1 x it's x to x the one where go one is in castle's mv location so i've never seen her paired with yojin and then behind them are hyunjin and hustle although they are next to each other in you know in order um in one third i don't believe i've ever seen them paired two before and then we have chu and vivi also new to me because usually chu is either paired with was it hustle well from the heart attack video or yojin um because they're like corresponding colors in well based on the old luna first color theory so yeah two is either hustle or yojin before but now she's paired with vb anyways Hopefully, when I start up the Luniverse Theory series, we'll, uh, that one will be more well-researched and we'll have some actual answers then. And then in the back row, we have Cherry and Jinso. Also next to each other in order, but they've never really been uh, like a pair, even in Odd Eye Circle. It, in Odd Eye Circle, the dynamics is either uh the pair of kim lip and jin Sol. and then if cherry's in there it's it's the all three of them together although cherry and jin Sol did have the the duet together puzzle right please correct me if i'm wrong i think it, I, I i i'm just going off memory here it's it's puzzle right and then the last one is Eve and Kim Lip. Which is hmm, also new to me. Because for me, the analogs of Eve would be Vivi.
Well, it's, it's, usually, it's usually been even VV. And then if you go with Carol 2.0, it's EVV and Cherry. Wait a minute. We have a better view of the clock this time. Can I zoom into that? Just a second, guys. Let's zoom into the clock. Shall we? Even in 4K, that's still blurry. But I can definitely confirm it's the Carol 2.0. It says the Carol 2.0. Below it is high high. And then multiply multiply. And I can't see what's after multiply, multiply. And then we, we have hash, we have so what, we have why not, and then we have and. Why is it written like that though? It's so blurry. I'm, I'm not even sure that's an ampersand. I hope we get a better shot of that clock. Really, this is already in 4K. And... Well... It's blurry even then. Okay, let's move on, shall we, before this video gets too long. Next scene. Okay, we have close-up shots. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but the clock behind is blurred. They all look so pretty here. Well, they always look pretty, but, you know, especially so over here. I see Hustle is also wearing rings. Oh, you know, something that I've noticed so far. They all have eye-catching jewelry. The earrings on Kim Lip, the necklace on Eve. Also, you know, like, Eve's hair was like this uh, for the finals of Queendom. And... <laughs> Like when I found out that it was, uh, she was going to keep that hair for uh, the new comeback, I was kind of dubious because, you know, that color of hair was, was good for, you know, the, as the aesthetics of Pose. But for their flip that comeback, I, I was not so sure because it seemed like a bright, cheery summer album. And, but right now looking at it, it kind of works it's giving me the vibe of this a title of an anime but i've never watched it before snow white with the red hair something like that and it just because i know that title even if i've never watched the anime before it's like it's making things fit for me i, I mean makes sense Okay, they all have very, very eye-catching jewelry. Oh! <laughs> this shot? I'm kind of sus about this shot. 
it looks like they're just playing around, right? Like, the director said, okay, do whatever, play around with uh, stuff like that. I think this, however, I think this shot is deliberate. I think it's deliberate. So that they can show off the rings on their fingers. Okay. That's one reason why I think it's deliberate. You know, with Luna, everything is deliberate in, you know, connecting to the Lunaverse. <laughs> I I'm just I'm just in this mindset right now because last month I had, I was on a video call with a friend and um they were knitting something with crochet needles but really it is it's just a, an excuse to show the big fat rock on her ring finger and so them doing this with their hands in the middle of the shot makes me think that it's deliberately like that to show off the rings so the rings might be an important thing here well symbolically a ring represents you know uh well it's a closed circle so it's like infinity forever or could also signify like the completion of something which would be a much much uh would explain it uh better okay now we have olivia with the lollipop and now he jin pays attention to olivia come on just because of the lollipop so yeah it looks like Olivia is about to open the lollipop, uh, tear off the wrapping, but then she kind of shuts down a bit and drops it. What's that about? Kind of looked like she had like a bout of anemia there or something. That's weird. Okay, we have the shot of the clock. Definitely Carol 2.0. We can see it on the bottom. It's quite clear. Yeah. The Carol 2.0. And then them running through this... Oh large open space lined by sheets and flowers this aesthetic though they're what they're wearing reminds me of something but not from one of their mvs i think it's like season's greetings they're The season's greetings that they had before, so what? I think. Is this like a reference to the time like before all the pandemic stuff happened and everything was still happy? Well, technically they were all that was also their dark period anyways over here we have yojin with orange hearts on her cheeks pretty cute and who's standing behind yojin i uh, they have a big ring on their finger i think that's like a blue bow so again, I think the jewelry is important here, especially rings, bracelets, necklaces, because they're all close circle, close circles. So signif signifying completion and um, basically uh, 
things are fulfilled. Oh, it's Cherry that's just behind Yojin, right? It's the same dress. Yeah, it's Cherry. And yeah, we can see it's a blue bow on her finger. Okay, are Cherry and Yeonjin twinning again? Then we have Kim Lip here. With a... I have no idea what ring... Is that a bunny? Does she have a bunny ring on her finger? Why? Shouldn't that be Heijin's? It looks like a bunny. And then we have Vivi. And... They have unicorns. See, Olivia is petting a unicorn. Also Hassel. And then there's another unicorn behind Vivi. And then... Kim Lip is just in squatting in a corner doing whatever like if this is a deliberate shot then what's the purpose of kim lip what's kim lip doing also the pink door in the background it's pink now so if the orange door was yojin's then this must be vivi's door hmm hmm Okay. And then, oh, we, this is the last scene. Okay, the, the head turned around with Olivia. This feels like a throwback to So What for me. You know, the, the turning of the head signifying uh, the turning of the moon. And also, you know, the way that they did it is like their eyes are closed, then it, while turning their head, their eyes open. That's, th this is so... Like, so what? <laughs> Please don't tell me Olivia is gonna burn down this new world as well. <laughs> Either that or... Did Olivia did a... Did that Livia even do a head turn in So What? I can't remember. Maybe she's doing it now? Because she's finally found the better world to look at? To, to, to be in? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. With the Lunaverse, it's always maybe. Anyways, that's it, I think, for teaser number one. Okay, so even more questions have popped up from teaser number one. Or flip, uh, Luna flip that one. So yeah, if you guys have any additional insights or references that I may have missed, please share, share it down in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it. And stay tuned, I will also be uploading the initial analysis as well for flip that to right after i upload this one so stay tuned for that as well so if you enjoyed that please give a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on uh future content so thank you thank you so much for going on this journey with me so until next time have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.